as uh, both of these teams have a little bit of an advantage. Okay, Baba in a little bit of trouble here. Gets bursted down. Yeah, bursted down, and now taking the fight into the mid lane. Is going to go ahead and BMI out of there from Hiko. Magister is going to find Brusco, though. So Octa takes that kick. Baba, one for one trade. But both teams still able to take this fight. Lord still intact. And nobody has been able to claim it so far, waiting for an opportunity. But it just hasn't been open for either side. But this may be it. Look at Skylark getting closer to late build. I mean, just look at how fast he's chunking down this Luminous Lord. This may be a problem for Deus Bolt. It's now RQ Hoshi has found their first lead in this game to be able to open up this map. Yeah, and right now they got minions at mid. You can tell, especially with how that Lord went off, how important this game is for both of them. Both teams trying to make sure that they don't make a mistake. We're at the 17 minute mark. Most of the builds already at about full build. We're gonna start seeing the show up of some immortalities come up on the screen. Maybe even uh, some of those winter truncheons as we start getting later and later. Magister in a little bit of trouble. Get red, goes in with the electrifying beats, but uh, decides to turn away. Yeah, now at the 50k mark for gold, so everybody at the late game build. This, this is what Skylar's been waiting for. Was Coach Brent up to a master plan? And Layla, we trust, is the model for RRQ Hoshi. Is Skylar getting ready to risk it all and show some brand new meta? Ooh. The game of futures 2024. He though will find out that though. Rushes in, maybe able to get another immortality being propped on Bruce. Go. May not be able to get out of there as Kid Baba shut him down. Two members down for RRQ Hoshi and the push from Deus Bolt into the mid lane. Banana, top 50% HP. Skylark, with an H shirt, maybe able to deal the damage, but Kid Baba finds him. And the second kill for Kid Baba so far in the past 30 seconds. And now a 16 to 9 kill lead for the side of Deus Bolt. And through all of this smoke at the 18 minute mark, mid towers still standing. I think that's unheard of right now. That just tells you what kind of defense, what kind of game that both of these teams are playing and what they have in mind. Oh, going in, Kibaba takes a heap of damage from that tower, but decides to back off and then clear out the mid minions again. Yeah, able to clear out those mid minions and private. This is getting to the late game. We know what happens when it gets this late. It's a battle of ping pong and it's just going to boil down to who can execute a little bit better on either the split pushing or the team fights for the new objective so far we've seen Deus folks do a really good job controlling this game but a similar story to the issue that RQ Hoshi fell into the last game they were not able to close it out with the massive advantage they had in the early phase and now hitting that 20 minute mark over 50k in gold who will be able to turn the tide in their favor to claim this series yeah, and you said it best. Uh, we're uh, so late in the game that it comes down to execution, patience. Who's going to make the first mistake? Who's going to get that first advantage? Maybe catch somebody out, checking a bush they shouldn't have, out of position, maybe too far away from their team Always to be able to back them up, so or even maybe dive in the tower. Now that we still have all of our mid towers up here, you see Sunset Lover and Brusco just saying hello to each other in this bush. A couple of little love taps. Oh, Brusco actually wastes a little bit of a flicker there while I talk about that master. At the top. Yeah, and the Lord does spawn in RQ Hoshi in a possible place to be able to control it and maybe able to take it. But pay attention to Irad, right? Normally we see Banana being the one that split push when you'd run the Benedetta, but now that he's forced on the Ruby, he kind of lacks a little bit of that mobility to be able to provide that split push. And that's where Irad is going to come into favor, especially on this Joy, being able to have that high mobility. But now with the Lord intact, Magister, he's waiting. He knows that RQ wants to subject it, but they're, they're just kind of kind of do the dance around the lord pit and wait for somebody to make the mistake this is what we talked about a battle of the late game down to the wire 20 minutes in will we see david to be able to take it big on a finish set Ooh. up that vintage park guard actually making the save baba is going to be able to sustain himself with the damage a good save from sawo and it looks like they will be able to disengage but that was a very close call and here's the thing too, is on one side, you have Hiko who has to be present, has to be in front of everybody because he still needs to get his stacks on that claw from the Lord. So you know that uh, on the other side, Brusco is definitely looking for him, trying to connect so that he can get that wave of the dragon onto Claude and take him out.
Chang when he puts himself out there. Deuce fault ready. Oh my god, look at the damage he just took. It was like a headshot right there. 50% HP over there on Tahiko from Okta on this Navaria. But look at this. Bolt trying to deal some massive damage to the Lord. Kibamba very low. Look at Sawa though, already on him, ready to use that hard guard at a moment's notice. Yeah, and they're doing their best. Kibamba doing his best to try to zone out the rest of the team. Look at all the damage he's taking. You can see that the hard guard is ready to try to protect. And this actually might be going to Deuce Fault. Oh, but look at him look at, look at, look at, at the top. Cool. Yep, and he be now Irat has been known to close the distance. He's got so many Lord steals. Got one with the Lancelot. He's gotten one with the Droid before, but not this time around. Sawa, which got him down. They don't have the retribution now for RRQ Hoshi. They is cool. Has found their opportunity to possibly seize this game. And the clash is now on the way. RRQ Hoshi wants revenge. Skylark by Tico. Sunset Lover will take that Bruto. Skylark gets a double. Down the Sunset Lover. The glass cannon is revved up and ready to go. Oh, but I mean, you have Sunset Lover. They're going to have to come back to the base. They're going to have to clear that out. But even with the advantage, Deuce Fall find the kill. But then answering back, RRQ Hoshi able to find some kills of their own to make sure that they're not able to put pressure on this. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Skylar, what a play. Able to take down Hiko. What is going on? Sunset Lover did fall. You see everybody having a hard time now against Skylar dominating. Maybe we get another one. Kid Papa. Okta is going to be able to steal the kill though. Last second. I feel like Skylar would have connected there. But nonetheless, they've taken the advantage and will be able to seize this Lord. Uh, yeah, uh, unless we get uh, them rushing in here. But this does look like, especially with Skylar's damage, this Lord that's going to be going over to RRQ Hoshi. We're taking a look at the items. We're starting to see the show. Some of those. Uh, those winter trunches are out now. Some of those immortalities are out yet. And it's all going to come down to this base defense. But this is a 20 minute board. Now, was Coach Friend up to some devious activity with this Layla being slotted in? Does he know something we don't? Because it looks like this may end up winning the game for RQ Hoshi with the full late game build and Illuminous Lord making his way through the top. Side. I guess we'll have to find out. We see those uh, at this point. We see towers being shredded. And a big I'm offended lands on the Magistar. Yeah, big I'm offended is going to land. Lord make his way into the base for Days Bolt. One final stand. This is your chance to turn it around. Possibly make it up to the stage two playoffs of the game of Futures 2024. Hoshi finding a hard time making it into their base, and Day is full. We'll be able to clear out this Lord. But they still have the lanes to contend with. Still have the bottom, or the mid and the bottom. You can see all of the minions starting to crash in here. They still have their high grounds, so still some defense up there. But I mean, man, at this point in the game, all it takes is a, a good team fight to, to reduce some of those, those towers down to, uh, to paper. And I'm telling you right now, Skylar is looking for that savage play. You just see how patient he's waiting in the back line, waiting to seize the opportunity to deal that long range damage. Now, the Lord is not in anymore. They were able to burst down to this full, so they have another chance to turn this around. Some solid defense on that push from RQ Hoshi. Again, at another stalemate, 24 minutes in. I mean, even looking at the items, everybody is in double digits now in terms of gold. When the nature was picked up from Skylar, and then also when the nature from Hiko. So definitely gonna have to bait one of them out in order to deal that final hit against each other if it boils down to it. But 13 to 9, and it honestly it doesn't even matter. We're not even the, the kills don't matter, the gold doesn't matter anymore. We this official late game. It's gonna be a 5v5 class or a battle on this board. RC and RQ Hoshi very comfortable now. They're in the back of this entire game, but have found their footing. Yeah, and right now the thing is is you're at the point you need an answer for Skylar. You cannot leave him in the back. You cannot leave him doing damage to your team. And that's a problem for Deuce Fault right now because in the front lane, you have a Rod who's going to be able to go in there, do a lot of burst damage, and they're all going to try to focus that down. And while that's happening, you still have Skylar in the back. So that is the big question here is, 
can do is find a way to get to that back to be able to take Skylar out for some of the next fights. You already see him trying to take control of these lanes. Dez Fultz is going to go ahead and clear the top side, ready to take this fight into the Lord Pit. But can they sustain themselves? We already know Skylar is going to be hitting very hard now. They need to find a way to get to him in the back lane. They don't have the easiest composition to do it. Maybe Kid Baba can rush back there, or Hiko with the uh, BMI, with the Blazing Duet. Could be the trick, but they have to watch out for that wind of nature, because as soon as he procs that, he may be able to burst them down. Lord at about 50% HP, and it looks like RQ Hoshi may be able to take this. Where is Magister? Not able to get there in time, and Lord will go to RQ Hoshi. Yeah, and that's unfortunate, because they have waves pushing the rest of the team was done. Dealing with those while Magister was basically alone, being zoned out by the rest of RQ Hoshi while they took the Lord. So it was basically him alone trying to get in there, and I mean, uh, you're not really going to earn much by trying to dive in there and dive, uh, uh, be one down with this Lord coming down as well. Just two high grounds left, Steph. That's right, two high grounds left and one Layla ready to take him to the base of Dennis Volts. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Make it or break it for both sides. Will Skylar be able to close it out with the Layla or Dennis Volts? Be able to turn this around, take down the Luminous Lord, and clear the team of RRQ Hoshi, knocking at the door for their base. In a minute's notice, we will know which way this will go. Down goes the inhibitor for the mid lane. Lord at about 25% HP will be bursted down. Blazy wet from Hiko to be able to clear it. Another Lord not working in RQ Hoshi's favor. And now may have to still try and contest with these minions. Do they go in for it though? Or do they push back and wait for the next Lord to spawn in and private? I think we might be seeing a 30 minute game. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. It's not as exciting, but it is the smart play. Lord goes in, you take down the high ground towers. That's all you gotta do, because you know you're winning these team fights when it comes to the next Lord. So all you need to do is be patient, wait for the next Lord, and then you have the pushing power against Deuce Vault without any defense. Yeah, and right now, Team Hunters were picked up from Kid Bamba. There it goes, Skylar doing massive damage. Magister, very low, is going to go ahead and get a little bit of that regen from Angela. They're definitely going to be testing out Sawo and making sure he can heal the team up as everybody at that full build. We're not in late game, Private. We're in late, late game. As we are looking at both teams fighting it out, Astro Echo connects to the full team of Dez Fault, a possible chance for them to deal some damage. It's like a game of cat and mouse right now between both of them because they, is full, they want to find a way to get the Skylar, but they don't have anybody that can really close the distance before getting bursted down. Always yes, do you have Kid Bamba, so but as soon as he rushes in there, Skylar is going to pretty much I take know, him out, or he's going to get hit by Brusco. But on the same side of the table, for the side of RQ Hoshi, they need to find a way to close out this game, and they're engaging and disengaging is where they have a slight disadvantage. They need to find Brusco going in with the way of the dragon to get a possible setup if they want to be able to end this game, or Banana finding a crucial set with the Iron Defender. Yeah, and, and this is, uh, that, that's kind of the, the big play of this game right now. I mean, we saw a little bit of a fight here at the purple buff. Luckily, Magister is still able to get a retry. I'll get his purple buff here. But yeah, as you're taking a look at these items, I mean, oh, Zayla actually does not have, uh, does not have the, the defensive uh, item. So you actually might be able to burst her down. Yeah, no boots. Running out there with just plain old socks in the land of dawn. Kid Baba rocking that vengeance. Very low hit. With the sniper, oh, Skylar will shut him down. Kid Bob will fall. It may open up the opportunity for the next Lord to be taken again by RRQ Hoshi. Can they contest? Do they go in or do they just risk it all? Go back to the base and try and take down yet another Luminous Lord. They have to know they have to make something happen here. They're not going to be able to withstand another Lord push, but they already have minions forcing their way into the core right now. And this is going to be another Lord for RRQ. Ooh, this is the set they were looking for. Possible kill. Irab will get the Lord, but massive damage on the day is full. Blade Duet. Skylar takes the master. Hiko finds Brusco. Skylar's still 
alive. What a see. Immortality being rocked on Hiko. He needs to get out of there. The BMI not able to make up the distance. Erad will shut him down. Banana will fall. Sunset Lover takes down Erad. Banana with a crunchy in place. Still alive. But Sunset Lover gets the double. Skylar, though. Octa 2v2. Down to the fire. Takes down Sunset Lover. Fights another. Sawa will fall. And ladies and gentlemen, RRG Hoshi will take the winner's match. Move on for the games of future to stage two of the playoffs, shutting down their opponent in that bloodbath of a game. Deus Fuchs drops down into stage.